What's up y'all and welcome back to The Station Bakery. In today's video, I'm going to give you a walkthrough of my website. Before we get into the video though, my kids are home with me today, so you may hear that in the background. And number two, this website that I'm getting ready to show you is a website that I no longer function with simply because since the time that I started my business and I created this website to now, the structure of how I run my business has changed significantly. Still want to give you this rundown of my website because this may work for you and I know that I told y'all in this video that I was going to give you a walkthrough of my website. So let's go ahead and jump directly into the website. Okay, so right when you come onto my website, I have this big, beautiful welcome page for you that says, welcome to the Station Bakery. And then I have a blurb about who I serve. And then directly below that, I have an instant link to where they can go and order a cake. If they're ready to get it in, I don't wanna stop you. So I put this button here that they can just click on and it'll take them directly to my form to place an inquiry for a custom cake. And then also here to the right, I also have this picture of this beautiful cake that I made just, as, just to serve as a bit of social proof for my work and what I can do, All right? So now we're just gonna scroll down. You know, if, if you need a little bit more information, I have then included this section here where you can find out more info about my flavors and fillings prices and sizes, mini cake pans, and then last minute cakes. And I am gonna walk you through each of these sections so you can see exactly what's here in my website. But before we jump into each of these sections, I would like for you to pay attention to the pictures that I chose because this is very intentional. I have chosen a picture that shows my flavors and fillings like up close and personal. So when you're here on flavors and fillings, you're already getting a visual that hopefully makes your mouth water. Pricing and sizes, I have an example of one of my cakes, right? To go along with pricing and sizes. And then mini cake pans, of course I'm going to have pictures of mini cake pans. <laughs> and then last minute cakes, I have a picture of a signature style cake that I would offer as a last minute cake. Now let's get into flavors and fillings. So I have the title with a brief blurb about what this section is about, and then you can click the button to take a look. This opens up to my flavors and fillings page, and we start off with the classic cake flavors that my customers can choose from. I list the flavor name and then also a brief blurb description about that flavor. And when I chose my descriptions, I wanted to be as descriptive as possible to create a feeling, to create a visual. So their mouth is already watering and drooling over my cake flavors before they even get their cake. Below the cake flavors, I have my buttercream flavors. I added this in to my website because I want to toot my horn a little bit. And it also serves as another form of social proof. I take pride in my buttercreams that has served thousands right? And turns buttercream haters into lovers. I am boosting myself up and boosting you up at the same time to know that you're not just going to be getting any regular regular buttercream from me. Like you're going to get my special signature dream cream buttercream. And then I just copy the same formula as above with the cake flavors and go into the buttercream flavors with a descriptive description below them. And then below this, I've included letting them know that if you have another buttercream flavor that you would like to try to just ask me because I can put mix-ins into my vanilla buttercream and turn it into something else. We can add into the chocolate, you know? So if there's a flavor that you have in mind or some creative something like I can make it happen for you, just ask. Now below this, we have cake fillings and it follows the same structure where I list the kind of filling and then a description about it. Now I didn't write out every single cake filling because that would be like an endless list. So instead I grouped them by fruit fillings creams and butters, cookie, candy, and nut mix-ins. I have this same little snippet saying, have another filling you would like to try, just ask, right? We can basically put anything inside of your cake, just ask. And now let's get into pricing and sizes. So I put here again, everything is thought out, right? Everything hopefully is here to help my customers be more enticed to purchase with me. So show me the numbers, let's see how much for that cake. I also wanna point out that I added in this snippet of information here on the serving sizes. When I first started out my business and how I used to do it honestly until last year was that I based my serving sizes off of how I would personally slice a cake and what I personally consider a cake serving. I'm the one that's making the cake so I get to choose how many servings my cakes 
serve. The issue that came into play with this was that because you can slice a cake so many different ways that you can get so many different variations of what a cake slice is. What can I do to make this a standard that I can stand on confidently? And if you look here on my screen, I have put on here, the Station Bakery's cake sizes and servings are based off of the recommended serving sizes from the manufacturer of our cake pans. So basically what I'm saying here is that this is the serving size that the manufacturer of the pants that I use says that this size cake makes. Because they created the cake pans and they said that this is the serving size, then therefore that is the serving size. And that's how I drew up my cake serving sizes. All of our cakes are taller by standard, giving them a nice modern look. I create what's called a double barrel cake. So instead of your typical short stack cakes, mine are like two of these cakes stacked on top of each other. So you're going to be able to get more servings out of those cakes than your traditional cake styles. Um, so I wanted that to be clear so they have an expectation of what they're getting already. I have provided options for larger party servings or stretch or you can stretch your cake further with wedding servings. So not only have I come up with a standard for how many servings, but I'm also offering you an option to be able to determine between whether you like smaller portions or larger portions, then this is the cake that fits best for you. And then at the bottom, of course, I have the starting prices for each of my options. I have this disclaimer here at the bottom that my starting prices are based off of a vanilla cake with vanilla buttercream, and a final coat. The price will increase based off of different customizations that are adding. So if we want to um, add extra piping, sprinkles, um, fondant, toppers, things like that, then different fillings, different cake flavors, all of that is going to increase the price. And see, this is one of the great things about running your own business. You get to choose how it's run. And I am going to shift when I open my website back up for outside orders, for new orders, I'm going to shift my pricing structure. So instead of pricing everything out bit by bit, piece by piece, I'm going to have one standard rate for simply decorated cakes, moderately decorated cakes, and then like super fancy decorated cakes. And that is going to be my standard. I'm going to judge it. Is this low effort, medium effort, or high effort, and then I'm going to charge you that price. Now, of course, everything's already going to be factored into the price so I can ensure that I'm not going to be losing money by doing this. I won't be having too many extras on my cake that would make like the price fluctuate drastically. So say for instance, like I'm not going to Amazon to get some special something to put on the cake. I'm going to be using things that I already have here in my business. So my decorations are going to be buttercream based fondant based, sprinkles, you know, edible glitter, typical things that will go on a cake. I'm not going out to buy a Barbie for you to put on your cake. I'm not going to buy a custom topper for you to put on your cake. I'm not going to add some fancy balloon or whatever you can think of. I'm not adding those things onto cakes. So therefore I can manage my cost much better. So I know and I can be confident that I can charge this price and that's gonna cover whatever style of cake that they want. Um, so that's just a quick update on how I'm going to be doing my prices moving forward. It's like you've seen the prices, you got the numbers, boom, you ready to order, let's go. I explained in my last video of me starting my home bakery that I wanted to operate and function like a storefront bakery where people can come to me and get cakes every day right so i created this mini cake pan section where you can just order the mini cake pans that you need and then go about your way um decided not to do that <laughs> I, I quickly realized after doing my first pre-sale that that's a lot more work than i actually want to commit to at this point in my life so but i'm still going to show you what i have so you click on here to order. So this actually opens up to another website that I use, which I guess I'll go ahead and tell you the platforms. So the pages that we just came off of is hosted on Squarespace. This part of my website is hosted on Square. There are different functions and features that can be used on both. And so this is just kind of my setup on here. Um, but anyways, let me show you. So you click on here, the mini cake pans, and then this is where they can place their order. Over here to the left are all like the different pictures so you can see like what I have to offer. And then of course it's out of stock. I had to cut it off so people would quit ordering from me. Okay, so they can add in their mini cakes here. I also like that you can put in the, the allergens and then they can choose their flavor. 
the pickup and delivery date and time they can write in here and then any extra toppings that they want to add pickup and delivery and then they can place their order here now we're back onto Squarespace and now this section with the last minute cakes, I had a whole plan that I was going to have a line of signature cakes that I was going to offer to people that they can order at last minute, right? But we never got to that point because things took off quicker than I expected and I needed to shift my plan drastically. So we never got to this part. Okay, so let's come back up and let's talk more about my website choices. So I chose Squarespace one because I have the online portion of my business and, and Squarespace worked better for that. But what I also liked about Squarespace and why I chose it for the actual bakery part of my business is because of the custom form that I could create. It's much more detailed than the form that you would get on Square. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give you a tour of what that form looks like. Also, I will have links to Squarespace and Square in the description below so you can check them out. Um, another great thing about Square and like, if you ask me as a bakery owner, like what's the best website to use? Square, hands down. Hands down, there are so many functions and features that you can do in Square. Not only can you build your website on there for free, but you can also download the app where you can take on-demand payments. They offer, they offer where you can send a link to your customer. You can do a QR code where they can scan it with their phone and pay directly that way. They can tap their card onto your phone and pay. And then there's also the square reader that you can put into your phone and then they can swipe their cards as well. So many different ways of payment so you can make sure that you're getting your money. And there's so many other features. You're, you're gonna have to go and check the link out for yourself to see all the things that you can do with Square. If you're wondering what website should you use, what do I recommend? Square, 100% all the way, all day. So now let me show you the form because again, the form feature here on Squarespace is much more robust and you can get much more detailed in your form than you can on Square, which is why I chose Squarespace to host this part of my website. <laughs> so let's get into it. And so we just have the basic information here, a name, an email, phone number, the date that's needed. Are you gonna do pickup or are you gonna do delivery? What time do you want to pick up or do delivery? What's going to be the address if you're doing delivery? And then any other important information about picking up your cake or having it delivered that you may have. Just put that information in there. Then this section here, I have the number of expected guests. And the reason why I ask for the number of expected guests is because this is going to help me give a cake size recommendation based off of their needs, right? A lot of people that come to you, they may not know what size cake they want. This is going to make it easier for me to guide them through that process. So when I send over a quote, I can give them different options. Hey, you asked for this many people. If you want to do smaller portion sizes, then I recommend this size cake for this much. Or if you want to do larger portions, then I recommend this cake, this size cake for this much, right? So this is just like really helpful to me to not have to go back and forth about that, right? It just makes it easier for me to quote them. Then they can tell me what they're inquiring about. Is it a cake, cupcakes, or celebration board? The cake flavor and which buttercream and fillings they would like. Then I have this statement here to let me know if there's any food allergies. And I made it clear that the Station Bakery is not allergen free. Okay, so it's just very important to me. And if anyone does have an allergen, I will not take the order just simply because like that's too risky and it is a required section. So you have to answer it. So then I can have my ducks in a row on my end in the case that something does occur. What you want it to look like, what add-ons do you need? What colors, all of that good stuff is right here. And then I have a terms and conditions and a contract section, and then they can submit their cake request. And when they submit their cake request, that is going to send it directly to my email where I can then analyze all of the information and then send them a quote back, use a quote and an invoice using Square. I'm trying to tell you, I'm trying to put you on. Square is the place to be. Now, a lot of people will argue like, oh, but Square takes fees. Listen, any payment processing platform that you use is going to take some form of a fee. So let's go ahead and take that excuse Let's package it up, okay? And let's toss it in the trash, okay? Okay, cool. But yeah, that is my website. If you have any questions about my website, drop them in the comments below and I'll be happy to answer them as best as I can. 
But yeah, this is just a quick overview. Again, you can't access this part of my website, but I will have the link to where you can go and look at this page in the description of this video. So you can like browse around, check it out, get inspiration, and then build your website off of mine if that's something that you want to do. So it will be linked in this button, but please, please don't play with me. Please don't play with me and submit cake orders. You know, I just might as well. Maybe I'll just take it off. I don't know. I'm, I'm going to trust y'all. I'm going to trust y'all that y'all not going to play with me and place any fake orders. Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> but anyways, I'm going to drop it down there for you. Um, if you just want to, you know, send the cake order and just say, Hey, I'll laugh with you, you know, but please, please. Okay, anyways, this is going to be dropped in the link below as well as links to Squarespace and Square so you can get your website and everything set up in the way that you want it. And yeah, I'm going to see y'all in the next video. Peace.